Hello, friends, and welcome to another edition of Daily Devotions as we are separated from one another, but connecting each day virtually. So I ask you a question to start things off as we're getting close to Mother's Day here. Have you ever forgotten something? I don't know, maybe you forgot you left something in the stove or the oven till you smell that burning or the smoke alarms go off. Maybe you forgot to fill up the tank with gas and before you know it, you're on the highway and you're pushing. Maybe you forgot a spouse's anniversary or birthday. One of your kids' baseball games. And you hurt somebody because you forgot. On the flip side, have you been on the receiving end and felt forgotten? Maybe you hadn't been to church for a couple months and nobody called. You had a birthday and received no cards, phone calls. You were hoping that somebody who you gave your number to for a date would call, but they never did. Uh, maybe they lost the number, you tell yourself. It hurts to feel forgotten. And I know as we come up on Mother's Day, some of us have had great and wonderful relationships with our moms. Some of us are uh, mama's boys or close to our mother's daughter and mother teas and dances. And some of us haven't had great relationships with our earthly mothers. We've been estranged, we've been hurt, or they have died. And so Mother's Day is a painful place. And you say, Pastor Scott, what does this have to do with covenant? Well, it's interesting because in the book of Isaiah comes one of the most beautiful mother covenant texts in the whole Bible, at least of one of my favorites. It comes from Isaiah 29. I want you to hear these words. Before I was born, the Lord called me. From my birth, he's made mention of my name. And then it goes on further. This is what the Lord says. I will feed beside the roads and find pasture on every barren hill. My people will neither hunger or thirst, nor the desert heat or the sun beat upon them. This is verse 10. He who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of water. I will turn all my mountains into roads and my highways will be raised up. Hear John the Baptist in there. See, they will come from afar from the north, some from the west, some from the region of Aswan. Some shout for joy, O heavens, rejoice, O earth, burst into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people. And I will have compassion and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord's forgotten me, forsaken me. And God replies, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she's born? Though she may forget, I, says the Lord, will never forget you. See, I have you engraved. On the palms of my hands, your walls are ever before me. Your sons will hasten back to those who laid waste and depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your sons will gather and come to you as surely as I am, declares the Lord. You will wear them all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. What a beautiful text. And the acknowledgement that some earthly relationships, even with our parents, some covenantal relationships are hurt or estranged or painful. And then this beautiful human tax that says, even an earthly mother or an earthly parent would forget about you, forget the love that they've born into the world. I, God, will never forget you. I've got you. You're engraved on the palms of my hands, your names. You're ever before me. There's never a moment when your presence isn't aware to me. It's one of the most powerful, beautiful texts of the Bible. 
saying that though we might sometimes forget each other, sometimes forget important things, sometimes blow it royally, text that says God never abandons, never lets go, always has you. So if you're feeling beat up, left out, isolated, alone, if you just don't know how you're going to make it another three weeks until you can hopefully be together with people, if you're not sure how you're going to find a way for your job or your, your business to hold on, I think my friends have forgotten me. The bank has not forgotten me. My family has left me. I'm all alone. And God says, no, no, no. Not by a long shot. I have known you since birth, even before. I've known you by name, completely and fully. I've got you. So brothers and sisters, when you're hurting, when you're feeling kicked to the curb, when you're down, when you're feeling like the last kid on the team picked for dodgeball or playground sandlot ball, and you're thinking, nobody wants me, nobody cares about me, I say to you, wrong. There's always one who cares about you intimately and fully and who never forgets you. That's why the good news isn't just, eh, it's great news by God who knows you by name. Better than our even our best mothers this Mother's Day. And it loves us even more deeply, infinitely more deeply. Wow. Hang in there, brothers and sisters, until we can see one another again. May the peace and strength of a God who calls you by name every day of your life and then some be with you. Amen.